There isn't anything like this in Australia at the moment. Clearly the reason that uh, the federal government responded favourably when the University of Wollongong put this idea up uh, a couple of years ago now uh, was because it was clearly a, a gap uh, there are lots of, in, lots of engineering departments and there are lots of uh, population study demographic departments and planning departments in universities and in governments and so on. But we're very weak on data. There isn't a central or a, um, a focused, dedicated uh, entity to improve the quality of the data about infrastructure. And when data comes up, people tend to question it because it comes from a self-interested source. Uh, clearly, we would hope and expect that the University of Wollongong and the smart facility overall uh, will have no vested interest other than trying to get the, the, best, um, the best outcomes. So uh, I think that's, that's essentially where, uh, where we're going is, to, is the bringing together uh, of, uh, of all the disparate forces that are involved in infrastructure. I think it'd be good if we could get away from this manic focus on is this the government, is this the private sector, is this uh, uh, academia, research institutions or whatever. This is important enough and broad enough that it actually requires what I guess Americans call a full court press. In other words, I think the notion of the centre is not to be focused on how does the government do a better job, state, federal or local, not focused on is it the private uh, funding sector, the construction sector. Uh, the idea is you try and bring all those together because essentially this is so broad that it's the interactions that are important. And the reason we've failed to do a really good job on infrastructure is not primarily because politicians or governments are no good or because the private sector won't step up to the mark. It's essentially because we don't manage the complexity of the task smoothly enough and well enough and we don't manage the interactions, the interfaces between those various um, silos if you like. So that's, um, that seems to me where where the centre wants to go uh, is not to focus on one or other sector but rather bring all the sectors including academia, including uh, research institutes uh, within one uh, entity if you will so that we simply apply the best brains from whatever discipline to a particular problem. What we've tried to do with the Advisory Council uh, is frankly to reflect what we're trying to do, uh, what the University is trying to do with the Centre as a whole. Um, we have people, leaving aside the sort of has-been politician who's the chairman, uh, we have people from, uh, from industry, we have professional planners, uh, we have people who've chaired uh, business council committees in the area, we've got former government regulators who've set prices for infrastructure because pricing is an important part of the, uh, of the mix. Uh, we've got representatives of a CSIRO and of universities. So the notion is that this is a resource group and frankly we don't think it's an exclusive resource group. We hope others, and there obviously are many others who have something to contribute, will also be, be drawn in uh, to this exercise. But the Advisory Council uh, is really there as a, as a resource group uh, individually and collectively uh, for those who are working in the um, in SMART on a full-time basis.